So now we've got to get the cartridges. Black to the right, colour to the left as normal. This is a pretty difficult for me here because I've got to try and do it without blocking the view of the camera. And we've got to get them both in as you'd normally put the cartridges in. So colour to the left, black to the right, push them in and click them into place. That's the cartridges in. Then we've got the piping coming off to the left of the cartridges. So just feed the piping and carry on feeding it to the left. Now you'll see there that it's coming straight from there, straight across behind that bar and down here. We've got to make sure it doesn't twist. This has got to be straight and then you curl it over here. Curl it, if you can see there, I'll move the camera. It's a perfect straight line and then it's curled under and then we slide it into that clip and clip it in. So you can see there that the piping comes across to the left, straight across curls down and under and now it's coming back along behind this bar. It's coming back along here. I'll turn the camera again and it's coming out the front here. So what we need to do is unclip this because I've just accidentally clipped it together. Feed the piping through there and clip it closed. Now you see the piping has come along the back here behind this bar around this corner and through the clip here. So that's pretty straightforward how it goes in and that's all together. That's all done actually. We just got to look at the door sensors and getting everything put back together. Now it's pretty straightforward here. The front can just clip back up. It's not so straightforward with the door. We've got to find the sensor and I found it and it's like a light sensor actually. If you can look here there's a bit that sticks out the front door there and it goes into this bit just here. This senses that that's closed. Now with the piping coming out here that won't close all the way up there so we'll trap the piping too tight. So we've got to fool it into thinking there's something in. So how do we do that? Well as I say the sensor is here on the door and because the door is open the cartridge is here. So what we do, we just get a bit of paper and fold it up like that. Just an L-shaped piece of paper. And we put it into the sensor. And just to show you this is going to work first before we close the door so far, I'm going to put it in there. And as you can see now, the printer thinks the door is closed. It's started to go through its movements and it's moved the cartridges to the left thinking that everything is ready. And just to prove that it is that that's done it, I'm going to remove it and the printer cartridges will move back to the right. There you go, that's the door sensor then. So we've got to make sure that that is done. We can't shut the door totally because of the pipe, we don't want to trap the piping too much and uh, prevent the ink from coming through. So we close it to there. So it's going to be open about, what, 10 mil at the most? going to be open a little bit. We get the paper and we put it in there. And now the printer is all ready to print. It thinks the door is closed. Obviously you can get a smaller bit of paper from there. I've got quite a bit sticking out there. You can make it nice and tight. That's tidied it up there. So really to save uh, what thousands of pounds in printing costs just having that door open 10 mil, is it worth it? Of course it's worth it. You're going to save thousands of pounds when all you've got is a little gap there where the door isn't totally shut. So let's see if this is going to print then. Right, I've moved the camera a little bit so you can see the printing okay. So it might wobble a little because I'm having to hold it by hand and still operate other things. I'm going to the laptop now and I'm going to tell this to print. Let's see if it's successful. We should get a print any time now. And there we go. Started to print.
and as you can see there that's just on normal fast print that it's not on best print but that is coming out fine printing some instructions there to another CIS printing it perfectly okay look at that so why, why pay thousands of pounds for loads of ink cartridges when you can use the same ink cartridges all the time obviously your printer will eventually say your cartridges are empty just carry on printing don't take